Hello, Gold here. And today we're gonna look at how to modify a position. And the process is actually very simple. We're gonna modify this P40 that we see on the line of code here in this routine number one that I created. Now, to begin with, to modify a position, the first thing I'm gonna do is go to manual mode and turn my motors on. Once my motors are on, I would engage the dead man or press the enabling device on this and step forward one step at a time to that position, one line of code at a time with your step forward button, as we can see here. And I continue stepping forward until my robot reaches P40. It's on its way. And that's the good thing about step forward. It will stop exactly at that position. So now that I'm at P40, the next thing I need to do is to make sure that I tap this line of code and put my cursor on it. I want to ensure that my cursor is on this line of code. If it's on another line like this, then I'm going to end up modifying the incorrect line. So always verify your cursor is on the correct line of code. It's one of the most important aspects of this. Once I verify my cursor is on the correct line, my data looks good, I'm just going to modify the position here. So at this point, I simply just jog the robot into what I feel would be a more suitable position or pose for this particular P40 or point 40. And we're just going to jog it over here like this. And we're going to say, this is a better or more suitable position. This is what I needed for this P40 instead of the original. So at this point, it's very easy. I press pause mod. And it tells me this operation cannot be undone. Tap modify to change the position of the original P40. You also have the option to not show this dialog again. Um, I don't recommend that, but to each their own. I leave, it, I leave this box popping up because I like to see it pop up. Modify, when I click modify here, then that position is now modified. Very easy, very simple process. Just make sure your cursor's on the correct line. So now I'm going to move my cursor, my program pointer back up to my cursor on the first line. And I'm going to step through each line of code and verify that the P40 was taught correctly. So now as I move here, now I'm on my way to P30, and now I'm on my way to P40. And as we can see, this position coincides with the position that I just taught. So the process worked, and it's actually a, a really easy process. Um, the main thing to take into consideration or to watch out for is where your cursor is on the line of code. Make sure to throw a like and subscribe to the channel and share the video if you can. And I'm going to be producing a lot more of these upcoming very soon. But I want to get really in-depth on the rapid programming language, the configuration of inputs and outputs and things like that. I want to cover the basics first, but, you know, I don't want to do it if there's not a lot of demand or need or want or desire for it out there. So let me know what you guys want, and we're going to try and move into some more advanced stuff as soon as we get a chance. Thanks a lot for watching. For now, Gold out.